they talk about he could have like Kawhi could have gave you ten minutes or five minutes, bro. It's not about that. Like if I gotta go on the floor and I can't be myself, then like what the fuck am I on the floor for? Now I'm I'm liable to get even more hurt. It was a dumb take. Have Stephen A. Smith played any professional sports? Hell no. Exactly. So he shouldn't even be speaking on what y'all got to go Hell through every day to no. put y'all. And I don't think fans just really understand, like, what y'all go you through. try to play through injuries. That's the goal. If you can play through it, you're going to play through it. If you can't, there's a reason why. Like, like nobody wants to sit out for no reason. <sighs> I'm amazed. Do you have any idea who the hell you're dealing with? Any idea at all? I think it's important <clears throat> to give my resume. Don't you? I think so. Speaking of my man, Galen Gordon, he's in Vegas with me, my brother. Great, great television producer. <sighs> he sit right next to me. I think it's fair. Um, Paul George. I've been covering the NBA since 1996. In two years, that would make 30 years. I was covering the NBA since you were in elementary school. I think I know a thing or two about basketball. And I also think that Covering the sport the way that I do. And you know this, Paul George, because of your personal experiences with me and some of the things that I could have said about contemporaries and colleagues and others that I never did. That you know if something comes out of my mouth, it's not just my opinion. Players, coaches, scouts, player personnel directors, assistant GMs, GMs, presidents, owners. Do you really want me to sit here and talk about the Los Angeles Clippers? The perks and the treatment that folks have received and how the fans have been cut short? I could go there. Um, Paul George, did you know that you're the 34th highest paid athlete in the world, according to Forbes magazine, for the year 2023. $51.5 million total. $9.3 million in endorsements. I could say I'm waiting for a championship, George, Paul George, for that kind of money. But I happen to believe you would have had one had it not been for your injuries, because I think you're that gifted. So I'm not going to disrespect you like that. Plus, I got love for you. Did you know that Kawhi Leonard is number 35 on the list? Last year, $50.5 million total. $8 million in endorsements the year 2023. If you combine your money with his money, that equates to 101, I'm sorry, 100 and $2 million in salary and $17 million in endorsements for a franchise that went the fuck home in the first round. I would repeat that, but I don't think it's necessary. One more thing, Paul. 228 NBA players have played more games than you. You're at 189 games over the last four years. 297 players have played more games than the 161 games Kawhi Leonard played over the last four years. Do I need to continue? Do I need to continue? Everybody saying no. Um, Paul George, um, as you know, my sister Carmen adores you. Loves you to death. She's here in Vegas too, you know. She's standing a few feet away from me. She's going to be on here in a few minutes. 
Do you know that she's sitting over there five feet away from me, Paul George, cringing, begging me to stop? Please stop talking about Paul. Please, Steve, don't say any more. Please. I'm not disrespecting you. You a star, and I got love for you. But I'm giving you facts. I'm going to continue, Paul George, because I have the notes right here. Um, You've missed 119 of 308 regular season games. That's 38% due to injuries. In that time span, you've earned $148.2 million in your career. $57.3 million of those monies were for games missed. Is that a good enough stat for you, Katie? Kawhi Leonard, he's missed 147 of 308 regular season games. That's 48% due to injuries. Kawhi's earned $146.9 million in his career with the Clippers. About $70.8 million were for games he's missed. So combining that 70 with the 57.3 million, the 70.8 million plus 57.3 million, that comes up to $121.1 million in salary paid to you both for missed games. I don't see the Clipper fans getting any refunds. I still am waiting for that championship from the fair-weather stepchild known as the Clippers compared to the Lakers, even though I think the Clippers are a first-class organization and your day is coming. And let's originate. Let's make sure we remind the world why you chose months later to call me out. I wish you would have just called me on your podcast. I'd have came. I'd have came, Paul. You know that. For you, any time. I would have came. But since you decided to go this route, this is why I have a a podcast. See, you got to understand something. I'm not going to go after everybody, and I'm not going to respond to everything. But the beauty of my podcast, which I own, I operate, I control, is that I can reach out and touch anybody I damn well please anytime I want to. If I've touched presidents and former presidents and presidential candidates and senators and and congressional figures and everybody else, what the hell makes you think I'm going to be scared to touch you? Now, for the audience that's missing the boat in all of this and wondering where's the context, where's the context, here's where the context comes from. On my show, First Take on ESPN, every weekday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, the number one sports morning show for 11 and a half years and counting. And by the way, you'll see a press release coming out in just a matter of days showing that yet again for the 12th consecutive month where we're up in the ratings year over year, or rather month over month for the 12th consecutive month, and our ratings are pre-pandemic ratings, just as a side. Because, see, I want to talk facts. I want to make sure you know I got receipts. Having said all of that, let's provide perspective as to why Paul George felt the need to bring me up in, dare I say, truculent fashion, to say the least. Here's the reason why. Because on first take, I looked in the camera and I said, Kawhi Leonard is a superstar. He's a two-time NBA champion. He's a two-time NBA Finals MVP. But he is the worst superstar our game has ever seen. And I talked about how he might as well just retire. Now, Film Kung Fu Gấu Trúc Phần Ba Xin Nói rằng đây là phần phim hay và ý nghĩa nhất trong các phần cung phu gấu béo nhé. Các bạn hổ sẽ đối mặt với chúa tể cay, người mạnh nhất có linh hồn đánh bại cả. Cụ rùa áo quay liệu thần vô đại hiệp có đánh bại được chúa tể kỳ hay không mời các bạn theo dõi vì hôm nay nhé ở linh giới cũng óc quay đang nhập định khi bị cánh hoa đỏ phá đám vừa thổi đi lại bị nó bám vào mũi còn chưa bình yên được ba giây một cây phóng lâm đã bỏ thẳng xuống óc quay dễ dàng dùng tay chụp lấy theo sau đó lại một dao nữa rơi xuống cụ rùa khi dao khiến chúng va vào nhau đối diện lập tức xuất hiện một thằng chậu trên gai khi phùng địch thủ của óc quay quân tử trả thù 500 năm chưa muộn hắn lao thẳng xuống đến dao bổ mắt nóc nhà đập vỡ tảng đá võ quay cụt xin chào và vẽ mùa chấn điểm hắn nhưng dài đã không còn là em của ngày hôm qua hắn đã lấy hết 
khí của các sư phụ khác và trở nên mạnh hơn nhiều sự phụ góc quay lại vẽ ra vòng tròn bát quái trên không cày trâu bò ném hai lưỡi dao cắm vào tảng đá sau đó kéo dây xích bật người lên ném đang vị trí óc quay chúng phá vỡ vòng tròn của ông dây xích thử dịch cháu cụ rùa lại tay nói mình sẽ lấy khí của óc quay về đến nhân gian quẩy tung nóc sư phụ rùa bảo ngăn chặn người chưa bao giờ là số phận của ta ta đã cho một người khác đi con đường đó rồi hắn biến cũ thành ngọc bích rồi bảo sẽ tiêu diệt luôn thằng đệ của ông tại thung lũng tặng sáng vô đã tăng động chạy quan niệm ngọc cùng các sư huynh chỉ của mình đạp lên một cành cây chém đứt đầu đám mây tê giác sau đó cậu chẳng lao thẳng xuống làng tạo một cái dáng cực ngầu để đo được hai tô bị nước một tô mì khô làm anh hùng nói chung cũng nhàn sau khi ăn no lại tiếp tục giao lưu với phan làm cháy cả tay quần chúng sau đó gấu trúc lại quay về địa ngọc cô bảo trong đánh nhau quan trọng nhất là thần thái bí đỏ công thức suýt thì khi xưa dịch vụ chi phu xuất hiện khen thẳng với nói trí phải nói xong ông bay vào trong lúa và đường tuyền mình tôm sướng vẫn lập tức thắt sáng võ đường sư phụ nói đây là buổi học cuối cùng khiến cô hét lên quá đưa hơi tại sao lại nghỉ học vậy xếp cậu còn tưởng rằng xin thu sắp quê tiên kể từ hôm nay ông sẽ chính thức giao lại võ đường này cho cô giảng dạy cô còn ngây thơ cho đến cậu hiểu ra liền bất ngờ quát một hơi chiến xuyên qua người ra sau trong khi mấy huynh đệ ai cũng giỏi hơn mình kia mà sinh khu giải thích tại vì cô mới là chiến binh rồng si phư thực hiện chiêu võ bí chuyển con heo biết bay kia vừa quay đi thì ông ra đã chuồn mất vậy là sóng gió phủ đời trai tương lai nhớ anh bé